Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with Mondays, what's sold on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. <laughs> Yeah, we had a nice weekend of sales, and we're tired, and we're going to get going. It's late here. Yes. Welcome. If you're new here, we come at you every single weekday, Monday yes. through Thursday, with what sold, and we show you how we ship them and pack them and get them out of our house, but we were on vacation. We were. We just got back. That's yes. why I have wet hair, because I was like, I am not. <laughs> it was either do my hair and miss the post office or just, like, go, man. So we just, like... We just got to go. We just got to go. It's 3.30. Yep. We have like 40, 50 packages uh, or something. I don't know. It's a lot. Here we go. Ready? 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 We're going to chit chat you through this. Yep. Telling you all the things we know, and I'm going to continue drinking coffee. Perfect. All right. All right. We should start with Poshmark. We sold a ton on Poshmark. We did. Super excited about this. Okay. Yes. So the first thing is let me flip over to my Poshmark page. The Cream Shop Bronzer. We've had this for approximately ever. And it sold for twelve dollars. This came in a boxy charm subscription box. This is way too big. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Um, oh, it's right here. Yeah. It looks like this. So what I always say about these subscription boxes is at some point people run out and then they want it again because they liked it from the subscription box. But we've had this for two years. So I did make money on it, but it's not a get rich quick scheme by any means. Can I go in a pet it or do you want a new box? Um Because it's a posh bar, it doesn't matter. I mean I can put it in this box. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I wish the USPS made like four by four by four. Oh, that'd be nice. Fo -fo -fo. All right, so that happened. A big old sale is coming up. You're oh, gonna man. want to look at your screen when I tell you to <laughs> because it's a big doozy. It's the dooziest one we have today and it's coming up early. That's right. Um, you want to give me a little bit of void fill? So Can what had it? happened, I will. Thank you. What had happened is I that is weird. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. The, the good void fill like went to the bottom. I don't know what's going on here. This works. We're, we're packed so we work in our closet a lot of you know this and once we get over about 35 40 packages it starts to get real cramped in here but we're listing 20 a day and we did list while we were away so that was good um april took photos for us and we've been practicing listing from just photos, which you guys know is really hard for me, but I've been doing it. It's been okay. So we were able to keep our keep up our consistency, and so the sales kept coming. Now, this guy. So my friend Chelsea and I were at the Goodwill in Denver, Colorado. Yes. And she was <clears throat> she sells kids' clothing, and uh, so she was in the kids' section. So I said, well, I'll go hang out with Chelsea in my head, and I'll look for some clothes for myself because... And so I was in the kids section and I just, she was standing right beside me. So she saw this happen. I felt it. And I was like, oh, this feels so nice. Yeah, you, can, you can open this up. Yes. And I looked at it and it was a Montclair jacket. I will show you the label. And it had the original rivet replacement rivets, riv, <laughs> rivets yeah, river, river, river. inside the pocket. I called Dan immediately. I'm like, can you look this up for me? Because I didn't have service there. And if you, let's show them the logo. Bring that on in. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I want to show them the more important part, which is at the bottom. There's a QR code on Montclair. Yeah, on the labels. On the label. So that's what you want to check. And that's what he checked. And it authenticates it for you. I have bought a ton of inauthentic Montclair. <laughs> it's out there and it looks authentic. And it has like a little foil hologram. And you're like, yes. No. no. <laughs> if you ever see me wearing a Montclair hoodie on here, it's fake. And I have kept them for myself. You know, I don't know where it is now. Okay, perfect. It's not down here? I thought it was. But... Oh, it's in the pocket. I remember now. It's in the pocket. Anyway, this is what you want to look for. You scan the QR code, you go on the website, and it tells you. It's like an, a miracle, a miracle oh, like thing. Inside pocket? Mm hmm. Yep. So, it's behind the, uh, the fabric tag. There, let me find it and then show it to you guys. There you go. 
It's got a serial number, a QR code, and like this security device in there. That's what you're looking for. There it goes. Guys, I'm so good at YouTube. And you want to scan that and then you register the product. Now, this is authentic and it sold on Poshmark for $350. Nice. Which you definitely paid for my trip and back to Denver. <laughs> so great. So I'm happy. We have it listed for 500, but I'm happy with a 350 sale. Yeah. Guess how much I paid for it? <laughs> 10 bucks. Was it 10? No, it was less. 545. Oh, we did average cost of goods. $5 and 45 cents. And I think the tag was like, was like 10 bucks. It was 10 bucks. And it was in the kids section. So you just never know where you're going to find treasure. That's true. At the thrift. And this really is a nice, a nice treasure. Dan even modeled it in the photos. <laughs> he saw us list it live. He was very professional about it. Okay, the next thing. So that was just a windbreaker. It was called a. Uh, I can't remember what it was called. Like a bomber jacket windbreaker. Yeah, it was like a bomber. Okay, this is something we just listed right before we left, the night before we left. Uh, these next are J. Jill Ponty Knit Pants. They're pull-on pants. You guys know we love selling mature brand pull-on pants. Yep. I'll sell them. I don't care what the brand is. I'll sell them. And the knit ones, especially a Ponty Knit is just a simple way of saying a four-way stretch. So Ponty with... <laughs> Ponty Knit... <minute, minute. laughs> we got up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Okay? Yeah, we've been up a little bit. Uh, they are normally heavy. This is under a pound, so it's good, but Poshmark doesn't matter. But check, if it's a Ponty Knit, make sure to check your weights, because they can get pretty heavy pretty fast. These are $61.96, correct? Yeah, $61.96, and these sold for $25. These are the, and it says, I like the J. Jill pants. They're very quick to list because it says it right there. Ponte, P-O-N-T-E. It tells you exactly what it is. I love that. Can't get enough of that. All right. So this sold for $25, which if you've been watching us last week, we got a whole bunch of plus size clothing and our cost of goods on that was 46 cents. So we will take $25 all day, every day. <clears throat> All right. and for these type of things we use the tyvek mailers they are not environmentally friendly but they are uh smaller in size so the carbon footprint is a little bit less hmm. <laughs> try to make myself feel better about it a little bit the next really cool pair of pants but there were no comps and i i don't know that i did the best job listing them so here they are. These are St. John. Oh, these are sweet. Yeah. They're uh, they're like an equestrian style. They, the inside of the leg is patched with some kind of leather. I don't. It didn't say what kind of leather. But it was, I think it might have been goat leather. It feels really nice. Yeah. And anyway, these pants were nowhere to be found, and someone finally offered uh, seventy bucks on Poshmark, and we definitely took it. Oh yeah. If I knew how to list these better, they would have gone for more. They're really, really nice. Like you can ride a horse in them. There you go. Do you feel what I mean? I put that, <laughs> but like, I don't know where the horse people were. They weren't buying it. So I had never seen a specialized St. John like that yeah, in my life. Pretty unique. Maybe those should go in like a, not a tie bag. I don't know. You think? We'll put them in like a pad? Yeah, I should paid 70 for them. Okay. I'm just, just going to reprint the label real quick. Oh, why? Because I already stuck it Oh, then pocket. just do it. Who cares? Well, I mean, we can put this in the project if you're really worried about it. Yeah. Go for it. You're allowed to use a priority inside of a priority. If you are shipping it priority. <laughs> Keep going yeah. off about Even this. If it's a flat rate. I don't know. We might be, we might be uh, slightly abusing the rules. Why? Because it's a flat rate. Yeah, but we're paying for priority. Oh, yeah, you're right. And we can use the flat rate for Poshmark anyway. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing is a placenta. <laughs> so, I just had to say it. That's just what it is. We <laughs> find these little guys. Well, okay, y'all, that's a placenta. It, mm -hmm. it really just, this ticket is just not. <laughs> you keep the ticket. 
So this little happy placenta is from a I love guts or something it's yeah, called. I heart guts. I heart guts and you probably saw a couple of weeks ago or a month ago or two months ago now we sold a spleen. Yep. And now we're selling this here placenta. This sold for $15 and I am very happy that it is out of my house. <laughs> it falls out of the net all the time it does. and it's very creepy. <laughs> it's happy though. Right. Um, it's happy. They have all kind of body parts. If you see them, I would pick them up because I think maybe we've sold two or three now. I know we sold at least two, but I feel like there was another one. Like a kidney or something. I don't know. So that's all for 15. Now, this is something we, oh my lord, here we oh, go. Lord. The avalanche has started. Yep. I'm telling you, we get real cramped real, real quick. Where are you putting all this posh? Oh, it's right here. I see, I see. You have to separate out. Yep. Is this what's next? Yes. This is J. Jill, and it sold for good money. So Wait. a lot of y'all were trolling me. Not a lot. <laughs> Some people were trolling me about picking up this J. Jill, but this actually did really well. It was a duster, which is a long long line open front jacket oh yeah this thing's cool it's really beautiful and we're gonna show it to you and it sold for $90 isn't that cool look at this thing oh yeah it's really beautiful it's got all these buttons that goes all the way down it's an outerwear piece but you could wear it you know it's multi multi-use multi and it is a ponty knit it's a it's four-way stretch it's very thick it's a very, very nice, substantial piece from J. Jill, and it commanded $90. Nice. So I'm super happy about that. All right. I'm trying to go a little bit faster than normal so that we can get to the post office today. It'll be all right. Most of the stuff we sold is clothes. We don't have anything crazy to pack up, like electronics or, you know how that gets sometimes, or ceramics. <laughs> <laughs> We're mainly just doing clothes. And we've been kind of shifting our business model to just do clothes because it is so much faster to ship. This next piece is Zara Boys. Zara, right now, I think is going by Zara Kids. But they used to have a Zara Boys and a Zara Girls. And this stuff does pretty well for me. I thought this was going to do better, actually. But anyway, here's what it looks like. There's a Facebook group called Zara Kids. I think that's what it's called. I'm in it. And those people love Zara. Oh, man. They buy all their kids all the stuff. Anyway, this is a uh, Star sweatshirt for a boy, size 8. I guess a girl could wear it, so that's why their kid's nasty. And uh, it sold for 15 It's pretty good, though. Sorry, I'm a little behind. No, that's fine. I'm just getting getting going here. So the cost of goods on this was $1.25 and it sold for $15. Yep. That's pretty... I was hoping to get like 20 but you know, it's not that bad. Alright. So he's going to wrap that up. The next one I took an offer on because I'm just not sure. It's the brand Hanro. Hanro. If you're from the Midwest. <laughs> uh, we got this at an estate sale. Or the bins. I can't remember. It says 75 cents. But we've got it really recently. That's all I can tell you about this. this guy. He most certainly probably needs to be limo. Good lord. Anyway, this is a robe. And it's pretty. And it has the belt. Y'all, I'm sorry, That's but I can't. Key. I'm not going to take it out. If the label was right here, I would show you. But if I... I gotta take it out. I'm oh, taking it out. I'm taking it out. It's like, I keep seeing fuzzies. I gotta get that lint roller out. Anyway, I think this brand is good. Honro of Switzerland. Okay. <clears throat> it looked like a high-end label to me, so I definitely looked it up when we were... Wherever we yeah, were. It was amongst the... Yeah, it was definitely... We, there was definitely some of that brand in with the the high-end estate sale. 
I'm just not sure where this came from for 75 cents. It sounds nice. like bins. Yeah. This is what, 6141, right? Yeah. Oh, come on. I'm going to get the one of this. <laughs> so, the greatest thing about going to the estate sales, we've been to estate sailing for about a year now. And it's not the only way we thrift, but it is helpful in learning brands. Because when you go to someone's closet and there's all these nice brands, and then you, so Hanro, we learn this brand, and then we go to the bins and we see it. And we're like, ah, wouldn't have known that. It's true. So it's a really good educational experience because normally when someone has a closet full of something that's good, all of it's kind of good. There's exceptions. Yes. We've had some QVC exceptions, <laughs> you know, cereal shoppers. Um, but it's really been helpful in learning brands in that realm of things. That's the one. And then the last thing that sold on Poshmark, I'm, uh, y'all cross list everything. Yeah. Cross list everything because this Dyson thing. Vacuum cleaner attachment. Yeah. It's a vac. It's a pet attachment for a Dyson. Uh, uh, they didn't put it <laughs> under electronics, right? It's going first spot. I mean, priority. I believe so. Yeah. So Poshmark has this new thing about electronics. Yeah, this one's still going priority. And they make it go ground now, which they should have always been doing. Anyway. Not this one though. This one can still go priority. Yeah, this doesn't have anything mechanical in it. Okay. Stop cleaning the vacuum. <laughs> Talking to myself. Pockets. Okay. The paper is just like not here. Huh? I didn't say anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> eh? eh? We should wrap that in some bubble, but here, I cannot. Right there. Oh, Sticking that over there. All right, sorry. I've got to climb over here. There we go. Yes. This is like the only. I don't know. Oh my gosh. I have like dust in my nose. Ah! ah. <laughs> Alrighty, so that wraps up Poshmark. That sold for eleven dollars, the Dyson thing, but I think we got it for free, so that's great. Now we're gonna go into Mercari, where we sold three things, and they're all very different things. So I'm super excited to show you what we sold. The first is four, six, eight, eight. Y'all, we talk about it all the time, but it bears repeating one more time. Trench coats. <laughs> you can yep. find trench coats for a dollar. They move. It doesn't matter the brand. So we listed this one a couple of weeks ago, live. I accidentally listed it for $5,995 yes. instead of $59.95. <laughs> the brand, and the only reason I found that out is because I was cross-listing everything. So I went to cross list it and it was like six grand. I'm like, whoa. What's yeah. happening here? So I fixed it. <laughs> Thank goodness. But it sold a Mercari for $45. Someone sent an offer over for $45. The brand is Preston and York, which is like, I don't know, just like a normal brand. But it does, this is what we always recommend. It needs the lining if there is one. It needs the hood and the belt if those it's are. It's got to be complete. It's got to yeah. be complete. And we have bought trench coats in the past that were not complete. They do not go. If it's complete and it's a dollar, I would say, and it, it's nice, you know, if it's in good condition, it will always flip. In my opinion, in our experience, I guess it's not an opinion, right? Correct. You heard it. Um, we're going to have to put this in our own box. Mm -hmm. 45 bucks, baby. FedEx Smart Post. Oh, you got to go to the FedEx. Yep. box is it huge or not huge it's not is it mildly huge mild yes like this box yeah it definitely works <clears throat> okay so if you're new to the makari shipping sitch you can ship up to three pounds on fedex smart post for the buyer pays 7.99 
And so when I'm cross-listing to Mercari, rather than going and checking the weights of everything on eBay, I just put it at three pounds. If I know that it's not more than three pounds, like this trench coat, it's, I thought the trench coat probably weighed, weighed around two pounds, but just to be safe, I put three pounds on every single thing I list as FedEx Smart Post because it's kind of like Poshmark. Like the weight, you know, as long as you're not over, it doesn't really matter. You hook it up with a little... It's getting there. It's... I don't know. So, okay. I mean, this was lovely what you did, but you. it's a trench coat. It's meant yeah. to handle the weather. Holy crap. It was already, just, well, it was already more than that. You were right. committed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this hair. Okay. After, I'm going to show you this. This little guy, he's so cute. I did that, this was uh, featured on the haul that we did, the Bins Bingo haul. These are these little wooden little people. And this is the conductor. He's my favorite of all time. I'm sorry, but is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. Let's see if I can make the, end, the conductor. Hello. And anyway, this is wooden, and the top part is plastic, and his little and bandana is intact. There was a ton of these listed on eBay, so I didn't expect it to go on eBay very quickly, but it did go on Macari, so that's exciting. I could okay. clean them up a little bit, but... Here is the FedEx. Well, it's... Okay, all right, okay. This is this little person. Oh, I didn't even tell you. He sold for $10. And they paid for shipping. Okay. $23.56. That's this label. Okay. He can just go on his little padded, right? Yeah. Perfect. I was thinking about cleaning him up with a baby wipe. Right quick. I noticed a little dinge that is not cute. Some dinge on vintage toys is cute. This dinge was not that cute. You know what I'm saying? I hear what you're saying. Just needed just a little. Just needed a. Just a quickie. My quick, quick little. Wipe down. No wipe down. <laughs> Never hurt nobody. He is so cute. I just want the buyer to be very satisfied with the level of cuteness here. I mean, they know they're not getting a brand new toy. Okay. In the bag. In he goes. So we kind of raced through that. That's great. 22 minutes for all that. Oh, we have one more thing. Whoops. Six, one, seven, eight. Another J. Jill item. Now, we are not experts on J. Jill, so just bear with us while we're learning more about the brand. I don't have a lot to tell you yet. This is a J. Jill popover shirt. A popover is what it has like buttons down to here and you have to put it over your head. So that's called a popover when it doesn't fully button all the way down. This is a cotton woven shirt. It's, from, linen, right? it's from the linen line. Yep. The J. Jill Love Linen. And I, I've heard that this line does well. We don't really sell it until now. And it sold on Mercari for $28. It's not bad. Yeah. That's not bad. I think that's great. So there we go. We're learning. Oh my gosh. So all learn. Okay. Next. There you go. eBay. Finally. <laughs> Here we go, eBay. 6184. This is a good one. Here you go. This is Eileen Fisher plus size 2X scoop neck elbow sleeve jersey tunic top of violet. $59.95. You've heard me say it once. I'll say it 500 times. I price every single Eileen Fisher at $59.95 if I don't know what to price it at. If it doesn't go for more, right? $59.95. That's what I do. And this shirt was beautiful and it sold very quickly. For $59.95. Our it. full asking price. Okay, this might be the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> Did you know that Hello Kitty had a boyfriend? Or I don't know if he was a boyfriend, but 
they were like friends. And his name's Daniel. Look at this little plush. <laughs> and he's got a little Daniel backpack. This is new with tags. It's from the Japan release of all. They had these little plush in the 2000s. We had a wife and a, I mean a husband and a wife, bride and a groom. I guess. Yeah. It's from 1999, actually. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's gonna need to go in a box. He is so freaking cute. He only sold for 11.66. He just wasn't worth that much. I I thought he would be worth way more since he's kind of rare. I've never heard of Daniel. Okay, hello kitty. <laughs> yeah, her little boyfriend with the backpack. <laughs> and the Hello Kitty version of this, she's got on a little sailor dress. Oh my god. Oh my god. Check it. All right, so we used to pick up remotes all the time in like junk lots from auctions. We don't do that anymore. I've not done that in a while, that's for sure, yeah. The, the money just isn't there. They do sell eventually, so if you have thousands and thousands of remotes, they will sell. But like, hmm? First of all, we didn't really enjoy listing them. And it takes a while for them to sell, but this one sold. This is a Vizio VR10 remote control M260VAE190VA. Okay, I'm not going to read them all. <laughs> but like all the models it works for, you just Google it and it'll tell you. And this sold for $8. Our cost of goods was free. You can test remotes. Here's your hot tip. Hot tip. Point the, Put batteries in them, first of all. <laughs> point them at your phone camera. And if they, if you have a light up situation, then it's working. Oh, I need to scale nine ounces. Okay, oh, let's go right down the street. Okay. Uh, we didn't weigh the first one. It was like fourteen, probably point something. So. Fifteen ounces. All right. Do you need bubble wrap for that? I'm just gonna double it over. Or do you want me to double it bubble? First? I just don't know where any bubble wrap is. We really need to order some. True. Uh, okay, the next thing is a pretty... I think it's going via the global... Oh, this is going via a freight forwarder. <laughs> okay. Airport way kind of gives it away. And... Um. <laughs> This is a Carhartt size large, loose fit, firm deck thermal lined, active jacket navy made in the USA. And this sold for $50. Sweet. This was a business find, $1.67. This is what we paid for it. Love it. Yeah, Carhartt does flip for us. It just doesn't flip for a ton unless it's like the fire retardant kind or like thrashed. Like a really fresh yeah. Yeah, short coat or a coverall or something. Yeah. But other than that, 50 is good for us. For finding out the bins, that's pretty, that's decent. Four ounces on the remote. I think this is going to need a larger size. Where's it going? It is going to a freight forwarder. Portland, Oregon. Oregon. Okay, let me see here. Well, we did charge fourteen ninety nine for shipping. Okay. So if it can go into an A, which is a little tough, maybe. What was it in just now? A ten ninety seven, so it will fit into an A. Or you want to just put it weight and measurement? I don't care. What? What does? The regional is like twelve something. Uh huh. And what do we think this would be? Yeah, the retail is 1273. I wish they had these just as box numbers, like preloaded. Yeah, right. All right, the outer dimensions 11.5. 11.5. 2.5. Four and a half. Can you see me estimating these, you guys? I'm so nervous. What's the weight? It weighs 3 pounds, 7 ounces. No. Three pounds, seven ounces, 11.5, 2.5, 13.3. Sure. 
1827. Into the regional it goes. Yeah. It's so funny, you guys. These are about the same size boxes. It's so weird. And I know a lot of you say you can't use regional. I don't know. This is the point where, like, we always use them. Regional A. So regional A was like 10 something, right? 1273. Okay, cool. Next, we sold some shoes, which we just listed from the estate sale. Is my corner your phone? Oh, my your phone. <laughs> I'm real tired. We are not live listing tonight. No okay. way. These are UGG women's size 11 Elena chestnut sheepskin cuff moccasin slippers, and they sold for $40. Sweet. And... UGG has a style and number. It makes it really, really easy to find out what you what you have on your hands. There you go. They look like this. They're really in good condition. This is from the buyout that Dan did. So he got these really cheap. Our cost of goods on everything in that haul was like 10 bucks, and it was all Eskandar. It was a really good deal at the end of the day. Would you like some assistance? Sure. Y'all told me that Costco's not doing tissue paper. That's so sad. Gosh. The times, they haven't changed. For real. <laughs> I know it's we're, yeah, we just, we're down to the scraps of all of our supplies. And, this is like not the time to be down to the scraps. Nope. Don't do what we do. Don't be like us. <laughs> okay. Did you want to know about the size? They have to go in that box, right? Yeah. They're both okay. This is going to, to Nebraska, so it should be fine. Yeah. And we did charge appropriately for shipping. So. Appropriately. Okay. Ready. Seven point four. 5.315. One pound, 14 ounces. Oh, good. That should be all right. Yeah. Okay, speaking of Eskandar, we sold something. Hey. Uh, 6095. This Eskandar top has flaws, but it is a really classic lightweight linen with the nautical blue and white stripe. It has tears in it. It really does. They're at the bottom. But I noted it. So the title of this is Eskandar, size 2, 100% linen, white, with blue, stripe, boxy, wide shirt, in all caps, flaws, read. Yeah. In the title. So hopefully they read it. Yep. And if you guys are new and have never seen the label that we're talking about, this is what it looks like. It's and it very, is our favorite brand to sell. Very simple, very unassuming, but... This, really high end. This flawed shirt, if you have flawed Eskandar, do not. I repeat. Throw it away or donate it. It's still worth something. In fact, this flawed piece of merchandise was worth eighty nine ninety six. Whoa. Do not <laughs> throw it away. <laughs> I've seen so many people like, oh, I left it at the thrift because it was flawed, and I'm like, ah, go back and get it. <laughs> I mean, there are cases where no, that we have some pants that we can't sell because the elastic is shot and they have moth holes. But if it was one or the other, I'd probably still try to sell it. Yeah. 10 ounces on those guys. All right. Classic Treasures. These are our last Classic Treasures PC games. Okay. These are... I didn't know about these, but these hidden object games are very popular. In fact, we sold like 20 sets of these or something. Media ones? No. I do not know. We might have to go searching for those. So anyway, we got these for free, and we this is the last of them, and it sold for nine eighty six plus shipping. The Not worst. a huge, but we're done with them now. Yes. But they have provided conversions. Yeah, that's true. And people give us really good feedback on them, which is also helpful. So sometimes it's not about just about profit. A lot of times it's just about profit. <laughs> but sometimes it's about like how many good feedbacks have we gotten? Yeah. People love those hidden object games. I didn't even know they were a thing. But if you come into a lot of them, I'm just telling you they do sell. But these in particular ones didn't sell for a ton. Ten bucks, right? But we got them free. And we only listed them once, and we just had a multi-quantity listing. Right. So not a whole lot of work for a decent decent little return. Yeah. And the feedback. 
We all about the feedback. Well, because people on the computer are playing computer games, so they're like more likely to feed back, I think. Give leave feedback. I'll agree with that. That's valid. They're Very computer valid. literate. They know what's up. How yeah, much? How much it weighs? Seven ounces. I gave you a ticket, right? Yep. Okay. Seven ounces. Coach. We've had these shoes a while. I thought they were gonna do so much better. Oh, I know, right? But oh well. They're still they're still good. These are coach shoes, heels. Coach women, size 8B, black leather, Desiree, stacked heel, gold dog leash clasp. This is a dog leash clasp. It's not a horse fit. See, because it looks like a dog leash. That's actually what it's called. This is a stacked heel. See those little, like, lines that look like stacks? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. These are all leather... They're very nice. I mean, they're like a classic almond toe pump. I don't know why they sold for $40. I'm so happy they sold, but I was a little shocked at that, to be mm -hmm. honest. Where are they going? Virginia! Okay. Love Virginia. All right. Go ahead and do this one. The next one is an Eileen Fisher plus size 3X washable stretch crepe top cap sleeve white USA new. This had the tags on it. This was from our recent haul. We paid four dollars for this piece, and it's just a basic. It's it's a t-shirt. <laughs> it sold for forty four dollars. I'm pretty happy with that. Dan's throwing everything around. Thank you. And I'm sure that I had it listed at $59.95 and someone offered $44 and I took it. I'm sure that's what happened. With this top? Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 what do we do for shipping on that guy? $4.99. Yeah. I heard that the priority rates dropped on eBay. I'd be interested to see that today. Mm -hmm. They dropped uh, the 9th. Today's the 12th. Oh, okay. I don't know how much they dropped, but we're about to find out. Or, um, 11 point, well, 12. Ah. Next is Figs. Uh, we're going to stop selling this brand. And I'm going to tell you all the wise. This is a Scrubs brand. It is good. Okay. But when we find it at the thrift, we always think it's great, and we get it home, and there's something horrendously wrong with it. <laughs> I think that people that buy figs wear them until they're dead, and then they're dead. Yep. You didn't even show them. Dang. Dang. Sorry, Sorry. guys. Whoa. You said we're not selling them anymore. Uh, get them out of here. 14. 14. So something's always wrong with them. Like, sometimes you have to have two sides of a drawstring or something weird. Like, you can't... Uh, mm -hmm. People let us know. <laughs> They'll be like, okay, these aren't wearable because. And it's always these weird things. We're like, okay, yeah. we're done. And there's always weird oil spots all over them. It's we're no, done. No, bueno. no, no more. <laughs> all right, we got this little ornament. ornament. Okay. So cute. Uh, this is called 2005 Hallmark Keepsake Miniature Dog Number 11 Series oh, Christmas yeah. Bell Ornament. Ooh. So cute. Dog. I got a ton of these in a junk bag, and I have just been selling the crap out of them. This one sold for $7.15, $7.15, but again, conversion, we're, we're happy with that, and we paid nothing for it, so, and then do we just pop it in a bubble mail, or is out of here? I love it. Sixty-one, fifty-nine. Here we go. More J. Jill. Is J. Jill the new Eileen Fisher? Uh-oh. Oh! One ounce. It does not sell for as much as, as Eileen. No. Nope. Come on, Eileen. I'll say it, okay? But it has been selling. This is a J. Jill Fit Plus size 4X black packable water repellent anorak jacket with hood. It sold for 46 bucks. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. That is so great. I love it. Oh, that was over? Mm hmm. Hmm. You know, either it was or we decided it. To send it priority now. Yeah. Okay. 
The next is a plush. We sold one last week, and now we just we sold did. another one. What is going on? Who who knows? You guys in the comments will know. Is this movie, like, coming out again or something? This is Elena of Avalar. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> plush, Sk Skylar, Flying, Jaguar, Disney, Just Play, Stuffed Toy. There you go. Sold for fifteen twenty five. Awesome. If you have that in your death pile, go get it and list it, because we sold two in a row. And they've been sitting for, what, a year? It's been a while. We don't know how long we've had these, and it's been a long time since I don't remember listing them. Yes. So please. something's happening in the world where people want this. If you have it, go list it. You might have it, because some of you got plush death piles. I've seen them. Synced it. Synced it. You put pictures in our Facebook group? I love it. Put your death pile pictures in the group. <laughs> I love it. Four ounces. Four ounces. Okay, the next is Lisse. 6226. Two, two, six. right yep. This is a legging brand I thought had gone out of business, but I was wrong. They are still in business. The regular Lisse leggings do not do so well for us, but apparently the plus size ones do. Yeah, they We're sold learning. really quickly. They yeah. did. This is Lisse. Uh, some people love their leggings. Actually, I do. They have a petite, and I love it. And these were Lisse leggings, women's 2X, high-rise, shaping, slimming, black, elastic, every day. That's what I put. And they sold for 30 bucks. Good. That's more than I can get for Lululemon sometimes. Yeah, right? 14. All right. This stunner, 4215. Mm -hmm. No, mm -mm, that's not it. It's 6215. 6215, yeah, yeah 6215. It's <laughs> going to a viewer. So we gave you guys fair warning. We're like, we're listing a bunch of amazing things. <laughs> Come get it. And they did. I don't remember her name. How are we going to find this out? I'm going to find it out before the end of the video. Is it on the... No, it's like, I think that's her husband's name. I see. This is a new Tags, y'all. This is a new Tags. Johnny was plus size Bathia silk button front top. It is amazing. It is so beautiful. Here, hold that up for yeah. them. It... Uh, some of these pieces, how do they... Like, they're just stunning. You know what I mean? Like, this no, craftsmanship is Here just incredible on Johnny was. We don't find it a ton, but my goodness, if you could feel this. This is like a lifelong piece. This will never go out of style. I love it. I just love it so much. And it has buttons, and it has tunic sides, and it's all flowy and beachy and boho and <laughs> everything. So nice. Anyway, new with tags. It sold for $125. She sent us a very nice message. But I can't remember your name. But I'm going to. Yes. If you told me. <laughs> I'd have to look on the messages on my phone. All right, do we do four ninety nine on that? And this is going to no, Texas. We did eight ninety nine. Right, it's staying in Texas, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I always do eight ninety nine on um, Johnny Woods. I'm looking. Looking. I don't know how to work eBay. <laughs> the messages thing never works on my phone for some reason. Mm -hmm, yep. Holy moly. Oh, that's a different Johnny was. We're selling Johnny was for all the days. How do you find that, um, the message? They don't make it easy. Okay, right, here's the thing. Where's the message that was with it? I, it was in response to the one I sent about shipping it late. No. Yes. No. Mm-hmm. No, this came with the offer. Okay. But, so there's um, been two messages. Yep. I can't find it. Anyway, we had to ship some things late because we are... Here's what had happened. This is a different Johnny Was top. That's what I was talking about. This is different. Okay. Um, 
I changed all of our handling time. This is important. I changed all of our handling time to three days so that we could take Thursday and Friday off and ship on Monday because it's weekdays, right? Um, how much did that weigh? Oh, what was that in? What did you just do? Okay, thank you. This is CNC California Girls 3T Pink Moto Jacket. So cute. It's sold for $20.66. It is really cute. It's wrapped up really nice in here. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, anyway, and so if the item had an outstanding offer on it, so I changed our shipping time, I think, on Tuesday or Wednesday. Handling time. I, that's what I meant. Handling yeah. time. Sorry. No, no, I just want to be. Yeah. And so some things had offers out on them, I guess. And they didn't switch to three day. 12 ounces. So we currently have four things that have been overdue since Friday, which is really bad. But I did call and talk to eBay about it. And they're like, oh, yeah, no problem. We see what you were trying to do. And if any of those get a defect, just call us back and you can appeal it. They made a note in our account. So we're <laughs> hopeful that it's going to be okay. And we sent out messages to the four people. Yes. They're like, hey, look, whoa. All right, this is a free people women's size extra small olive green detailed cuff thermal top shirt, $28. Okay. Love selling free people thermal tops. I don't care what it is, I'll sell it. Love them. All right. Just flying through eBay. Come on. Doing okay, it's 420. Seven ounces. Next is Eeyore. I think if you see this guy, maybe pick him up. I think we have two of them. We see him a lot. This is from Disney Parks, and he's like a pillow pet. How much do they pay for shipping? Twelve ninety nine. Okay, and this one has the tag with it. Sometimes we find them without the tag, and we don't get them. I don't know. It's sold for fifty bucks. Nice. So maybe pick it up. Yeah. Oh. The tickets on the tag. Yeah. Thank you. And this is going to South Carolina. Not that it's going to fit in any kind of regional. Wait, I have the perfect box for that. Okay. How much did I pay? Twelve ninety nine. Tell me this is not the perfect box. <laughs> it was in arm's reach. Nice. Yours going on a little trip. And then we had some giant poly mailers in there if you wanted to use an Amazon one. But, I don't know. I bet someone used to have this. And this is like a nostalgic gift. That's what I'm thinking. I swear we see them all the time, though. I see, I've seen like 10 of these. It's very small. Yep. Mm -hmm. We need to go through and organize the polys. Oh my god, he just shuts it. Help me out here. Okay. No side? Yeah, sure. Bye, you are. We love the Amazon because they have two, although they've been using these new ones where you can't reuse them, and I'm not happy about it where they cut them to size and then they don't have a sticky on them. You have to cut them open. But anyway, these kind have a resealable situation on them. Oh my God, it just keeps getting worse. What? These tie things keep raining down every time I move the tape gun. Okay. <laughs> Why do you have the tie things right there? We gotta move them. You've, you've uh, switched your style. Alright, so we just gotta get the measurements on this since it's a big old box. 16 8 Seriously? Yes. Okay. I think that's going to be right at it. How much is it weigh? Two pounds, two ounces. Wait, I didn't listen. What? Two pounds, two ounces. Okay, thanks. No, it's only 1536. What I was doing was multiplying the weight, the height, and the length. 
And if it's over 17, what is it? 28? 17, 28. Then you have to do dimensional, but you don't here. It's fine. What? All right, the next is a pair of dress pants from Xenia. All right. We don't normally just sell dress pants. I know. I'm sure these went to a suit at some point. But here we go, selling them. They're 100% wool. So it was Xenia 34 short black worsted super 100s wool pleat cuff pants. $40.45 plus shipping. Sweet. Love that. Yes. I'm not mad about that at all. Not first class. So I'm going to pad it flat rate. Okay. All right. The next is this Yahtzee game. You guys know I love selling Yahtzee. <laughs> all different types. World Series of Yahtzee. Okay. Oh my god, he would have loved this. <laughs> it's like baseball Yahtzee. Anyway, um, this sold for $24. It's going to Nebraska, and I'm hoping we can fit it in a regional box. That would be great. They're paying for $8.99. Let's see if we can get in a reach. It looks a little wide, but... Let's see what happens. Stranger things have happened. Oh. oh. We got this in the bins. I'm guessing Dan made sure all the pieces were there. Come on. Opa! Hey. Here, you want some? You need more? Here's more. No, I don't need more. Oh. Regional A. So we don't pick up, for the most part, unless it's something special, full-size board games anymore because the shipping on them almost always negates the price. Oh, this doesn't really... That's too good. Do you want... I mean, I can give you one. It's only going to... Alright. Now even the one I don't think would have would have worked. Okay. Okay, you'll see. Sixty one. Here we go, here it is. Fifty seven. Another J Jill. Mm -hmm. Bam! Here you Bam. go. J. Jill, women's, plus size, gray, white, striped, popover, tunic, shirt, blouse. Another popover. It's another popover, and I believe this one is linen as well. Yes. 33 bucks. Yeah. That's very sweet, considering or this was a $4 cost of goods, but yeah. even at 4 bucks, that's pretty yeah. good. And for such a quick flip, I think there, there's something you said for making a quick 20 bones. Yeah. 11 ounces. Ralph Lauren, size 8, navy wool, gore circle, maxi skirt, lined pockets, USA, modest. Here you go. Let's just this, this guy right here. Really, really nice classic piece. I'm not sure if this went to a viewer because someone offered us something and then came back and paid full price for it. Yep. Would a stranger do that? I don't know. But if you are a viewer, thank you very much. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. This sold for seventy-one ninety-five, and it needs to be lint rolled. <laughs> of course it does. I mean, this felt. You know how it is. Yeah. It's gonna pick up everything. This is a gorgeous skirt. If you can describe your skirts correctly, this is a gourd skirt, meaning it's made out of triangle-shaped panels. Um. I really think, and if you can call it modest, I mean, don't call it modest if it's not, but if it is, if it goes down, you know, past the calves or the ankles and there's no slit in it, that's the key, then by all means call it modest because that's a lot of people are searching for that term. This is just so classic. You can, you know what I mean? Some boots. This is cute. You is cute. You is cute. <laughs> We are always looking for Ralph Lauren pieces that are like timeless like this. <laughs> Aggressive lid rolling. <laughs> Commencing. I just cannot believe how much 
We lint rolled this before the pictures, I swear. I know, I can keep going all day. It just keeps picking up more stuff. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> get my sweater away from it, too. All right, $71.95. Yes, I think that probably has $8.99 shipping on it. Yes, it absolutely does. Okay. Next, we have another J. Jill. What? Yes. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not shocked. That's why we bought it. We're not like running in blind. That's I true. looked at the sell through. That's true. Sell through was good. Okay, put it in the car. This is J. Jill plus size button sleeveless collar shirt black white eye cat print tank, and it sold for twenty five dollars. There we go. This one is really pretty too. We put these on the mannequin and so it looked a lot better. 25 bucks plus shipping. Did you grab me a flat rate, a flat rate please? Yep. Yeah. So our post office closes at 5, but we found out that another post office we think might close at 5.30. Mm -hmm. And that it might be a game changer. That might be. So what is it? Okay, 8 ounces. Kind of flat rate envelope. Johnny was right. another piece. I think we've almost sold all of our Johnny was that we had. This is also maybe a viewer. I'm not 100% sure, but she told us to have a good vacation. Maybe she was just nice. Right. Uh, Christy, thank you, Christy. Thank you, Christy. Johnny was Los Angeles black velvet embroidered tunic top. Sorry. Yep. It's really, really pretty. Dan's like, I am not taking this I out of here. To. He doesn't want me to have to lint roll it. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. Okay, but you're not getting no lint rolling. Can't do it. I'm cut off. Look how pretty. Do you want to show them the Johnny Was tag in case they're sure, unfamiliar? If you've sure. never found it, you will. I have faith in you. You will find it one day. Yep. Gorgeous. Crushed velvet. That's what that is. When it like goes one way and the other way. Sold for $100. Excellent. Yes. And it's going to Oklahoma. I don't get there quickly. Okay. Okay, y'all, we sold a video game. I don't really know how or when we got this, but we have a video game and we sold it. <laughs> I must have picked that up at some point. This is just not our bag, but here it was 42 cents. So this is, I don't even know how to say these words. Madden NFL 12 Xbox 360. Oh, that wasn't so hard. That wasn't so hard. Um, it's well for $6.30, baby. <laughs> I don't know, but we used to like dabble in things just to see what we liked. And we do still recommend you do dabble if you're a new reseller. We dabbled, see? Now we're not. <laughs> we do not buy video games at all, like at all. But what if we had bought that and then we ended up loving it? Loving selling that thing, you know? You never know. Okay, the Johnny Was is 13. All right. Next, after the video game, is this Chaser shirt that we've had approximately forever. Yeah. It's a cool shirt, though. We also dabbled in liquidation. We do not recommend it for ourselves. <laughs> it did not work out. But anyway, this is a Chaser shirt, and it says Party Animal on it, and it's cool. Okay. Party Animal. I promise that's what it says. But I just wanted to show you the Chaser logo. A lot of their tees are, like, burnout and distressed. And we've got a whole, basically a whole, like, half palette or something. I don't know, a bunch of it, a lot of it. And it's been selling, but it has been a slow go. That's Chaser. We still love selling this brand. Four but, ounces for the video game. Okay, I just wouldn't pay up for it, you know what I'm saying? Don't pay up four ounces. Heard. <laughs> All right, so these other, these jeans right here that we sold, 
They're Joe's. Uh, these were a costume that I used in a film. And so I got to keep the costumes from the film. So I just listed everything and it was all pure profit. And Joe's black coated high rise skinny, the Charlie jeans, 28 ankle raw hem stretch. I'm not sure that these are in perfect condition. And I did note that. I don't know what they were supposed to look like, but they looked a little distressed, but I'm not sure if that was factory. Anyway, I sold them for 10 bucks. Somebody offered them and they have been listed a while. Get out of here. I said perfect. Chase your tank, four ounces. Sometimes we just have those days where we're like, just take all the offers. Get really? stuff out of here because. Okay. 15 ounces. Good. Okay, the next is a J. Jill. What? <laughs> I didn't realize it until we put them all together. This is a brand new with tags, J. Jill blouse, and it is beautiful. It actually, this color is just stunning. So it says J. Jill plus size, hunter green, long sleeve, button down blouse top, brand new. And this was from the first part of the lot, which was a $4 cost of goods to us. And it sold for $49.95. Love it. Awesome. Okay. The next. We're doing great. I'm gonna make it. 13 ounces of it. So Dan's gonna make it to the post office, but it is gonna be crazy at the post office. Mm. It's crazy. The line has been out of control. Y'all, this is Eileen Fisher, and I just want you to recognize that a couple of things here. A, I paid $1.99 for it. So I did find it at the thrift. All y'all that say I'm not finding this stuff at the thrift, I am. <laughs> and then all y'all that say I can't sell Eileen Fisher Petite. Eileen Fisher Petite, Petite. Okay. Okay. This is as petite as it gets. This is an extra, extra small petite in Eileen Fisher. It's a slub knit yellow top, sweater top. It's called Eileen Fisher size petite, petite yellow short sleeve slub knit handkerchief hem sweater. Sold for 30 bucks. Yes. I can't believe I didn't keep that. I, I must have like wanted to try it on and then I was like, don't let me try it on. <laughs> um, 6.0. 6.0. Okay. ounces. <laughs> Another J. Jill. Get out of here. The last thing for today. These are sleep pants. These sold within 20 minutes of listing them. And we have a ton of J. Jill sleep. And I was a little worried about it. Mm -hmm. You were. This is a 46 cents cost of goods. And it sold within 20 minutes of listing it. Someone was waiting for these pants to become available. <laughs> J. Jill plus size 4X sleep ultra soft pipe crop pants. Navy blue wide leg comfy. And these sold for. They were 13 ounces. 24.95. Nice. So I'm super stoked about that because we have all this J. Jill sleep to list, and I didn't know how that was going to do. I didn't find many comps. But at 46 cents, I was like, okay, well, we'll take a chance, right? Yeah. For sure. All right, yeah. so Dan's going to refresh his page. I'm going to attempt to lay all of these out. It gets. Huh. It does. Take this many packages. Yeah, and this little bit of space, it, it starts to get difficult. So we're going to do it, though. We can do it. We're not ever going to complain about our space. We're very lucky to have it. We worked out of a studio apartment, okay? Never complain about space ever again. much stuff also not complaining about that either please note not complaining
what? The Eeyore pillow. Oh, good. Hope the sales do okay. You know they come out. The numbers are good. Seems like we had some good ones. Okay, I'm on, on the last page. <laughs> no rush. I mean. Oh no, that was the, that was it. Okay. We could try the other post office. You know, I'll just look it up right now. I'm pretty sure it said 5:30 when I checked on the door last time I was there. And it's, it's about equidistant. Mm -hmm. Gosh, our post office would cry if you stopped going there. Or maybe they'd be happy. I don't know. This is closing soon. 5.30. Oh, that's great. Check your post office hours, guys. Some of them change. Okay, ready? Everyone's saying don't go to this post office. <laughs> yeah, they, they always count the packages when they hand in the scan form. Mail is misdelivered or bounce back to senders. Oh. Maybe we shouldn't go there. Because our post office that we go to is really good. I'm ready. Okay. Uh, Eileen Fisher, 6184. You know, regular poly mail. Violet Blouse. Yeah, we have so many repeat brands. We're going to have to be very careful with mm -hmm. numbers today. Hello Kitty Daniel. See a box? Yeah. Vizio remote. <laughs> Carhartt. Carhartt. Regional A. Carhartt. Right here. Are the slippers? Really on there. Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna have to go to the crappy post office. Oh god. Uh, the Eskandar shirt. We ran out of labels, that's what happens if you're wondering. Is this in a oh here it is. Getting off a plane and shipping is not for the faint of heart. Classic Treasures PC Games. Fisher stretch crepe silk top sixty one eighty three. The 
faked scrub pants. Uh, the Hallmark ornament. JGL 4X jacket. I just knew 6159. that. 6159. Padded flat rate. Oh, okay. Yeah, the number is more helpful in this situation. Because I'll just say JGL. <laughs> uh, Disney Jaguar plush. In a bubble. Leggings. Number sixty-two twenty-six. Are they in a padded? Oh no, no they're right. Here. Johnny was sixty-two fifteen padded flat rate. Scenes of California moto jacket. Um, lost my place. Free people, all the green bubble. Lord. Okay, it's in your pants, pad of flight rate. Tunic sixty one fifty seven. Mm, Ralph Lauren skirt sixty twenty four padded flat rate. Right. Tank sixty one sixty four. Johnny was sixty one eighty one. Yes. 
going to a gaming company. They're probably going to want to refund if it's chipped or something. <laughs> Uh, party animal chaser shirt. No, they're probably just gonna resell it. But it's not worth anything. Yeah. <laughs> Joe's jeans. Uh, J. Joe, sixty-one seventy. I'm shocked at how much J.J. is leaving our house. Actually shocked. I had no idea. Uh, I mean Fisher, Petite Petite. And last but last week, not least, more J.J. Pants. Pants. Sleep pants. All right, if you've made it this long, thanks for hanging out, and we'll be back in just a second with the profit number for all this awesome stuff. Hi. Picnic, what are you doing? No, not having it. All right, I gotta go, say bye. Hey Jeremy, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you, what are you doing? Oh God, oh God. Get. You know you're not supposed to be up there. You don't care. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> Bye. Hey. We made two thousand dollars in revenue while we were on vacation. We what? I know. We, we did what? Uh, well, we made thirteen twenty-five in profit. Hey, that's pretty decent. And two thousand dollars in sales while we were on vacation. Just in those four days. Yeah. Well, five, including five. today. Not too shabby. Forty-two items sold. I'm a little bit. Was it 42? Yeah, 42. And then 13.25 in profit. So for the month we're at 20 we're at the 12th, so it should be $2400 in profit. Yep. And yes. Hey yo. So we're about 1000 bucks ahead of schedule, and this is what I had predicted. So what happened was, hey, last week we listed 20 items a day. They were plus size items, so that does have a play in this equation. Sure. Okay. Uh, we're not very versed in selling plus size clothing, so I, I can't really give you a definitive answer yet until we sell like a hundred or more pieces, and I feel comfortable like kind of talking about it and what was selling and moving and why. But just in sheer numbers, we doubled our listings last week. Yep. And we kept listing over the weekend, which sometimes we don't do. We're going to double down and double our listings this week. And I'm going to try to do 30 a day. Whoa. Uh, we do have some help until the holiday break. So bef until December 24th, we have a person helping us take pictures. Yes. So that's full transparency. That's the only reason we're able to do this. Like at some point you run out of hours in the day. Yeah, for sure. So we have a person that's willing to help us and we're doing some in-kind work in reverse and that kind of a thing. So if we could do 30 a day, mm -hmm. I'm hoping that next Monday's video, there is a lag, but hopefully that next Monday's video will be equal, if not greater, greater. Here's, there is one caveat. Most of the things that we picked up at the estate sale, it wasn't, a, it was a private pick. Most of the stuff that we picked up. The first time we went, we picked up 100 pieces, and those were $4 each. Most of those have sold. True, yep. So they were the more desirable ones. They're the things we went to and picked out hand pick. like we will pay full price for these. Then the woman called us back and said, will you take the rest of it? <laughs> and that's when we started paying 46 cents. So I expect that those items are going to go slower. 
I'm not sure. We're going to see, but I do want to show you one more thing. Come in. Okay. Come in. All right. Since I've been using the venue labels. Yes. I called it plus size haul. That's the only thing I know to call it. Look at that. Let's just do year to date on this. Just to make sure we're getting them all. Okay. Wow. So we have sold 34 items in like a week. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, and twelve fifty six in profit. We spent $500. This... The five hundred dollars is already taken out of this. Right. Okay. So the five hundred dollars should be taken here, which gives us this twelve fifty six. Twelve fifty six in pure. The portion of the five hundred dollars has been taken. Does that make sense? I think so. Yes. Four dollars each. Has right. Been taken yeah. 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 Out. Yeah. But in general, we're already way into the profit because we only spent five hundred dollars total on everything. All of the pieces. Right. right. So if you just took that straight off the top, which you don't need to, but if you did, we're still seven hundred dollars in the profit. Like right. that's crazy to me in a week and they're mall brands yep like we're not rocking the eskandars and the stuff that we usually like to not even a lot of eileen fisher i will tell you that there were four johnny was pieces that all sold and they paid for the whole haul <laughs> four pieces of clothing so if we didn't have room and or if we were playing that game where where you're trying to get the lowest amount of listings and the highest sell through rate and for you're sure. just just trying to have like five things in your office <laughs> yeah. i would have just bought those johnny was tops and yep. we would have been like in the profit for sure big time yeah but anyway so we've listed whatever 91 plus 34 is so that's pretty good like 120 something and um soft surroundings is the top seller so far okay 15 so soft surroundings and 12 j jills okay so that's close second three eileen fishers we didn't have a lot of eileen fishers and three johnny was although i think we've sold four I think we're waiting on payment or mm, something. Maybe, yep. But the three Johnny was got us $367. That's awesome. <laughs> Love selling Johnny was. All right, so that's where we're at. All right. Subscribe so you can see us every single day show you our real transparent numbers. Yes. Because we're crazy. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We really do appreciate it. And we will see you back here tomorrow. No live listing tonight. No live listing yeah, tonight. Yeah, we can't do it. Can't we do can't. it. We're, we're zapped. No, zapped. Fully, fully zapped. Zippity zap zap. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be back tomorrow, but we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.